Lunara versus Rexa. My Ambo. I don't want to keep an Oitron. I really just don't think the card's good enough. For two mana, like, it's really good at one mana, but for two mana, it's way too fucking fair. And I don't like that. Usually, if you're going to play a Constructed in the card game to put a card in your deck, it has to have some kind of part of it that's imbalanced. And Anoyatron for two is just balanced. It's like, it's annoying, but it's pretty fair for, like, a single card. And so it's kind of weird to think about because uh, of how Circle Jerk, like... What's the card called? Giggling Inventor was it summoned two Anoyatrons for five. The thing is, it's one card that summons three minions and two of them are or Anoyatrons. It's just way too much value within one card. It's the main difference. Uh, never play around Explosive Trap here. Not likely. Like, this is all you have to do to realize that it's just bad to play around it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight secrets. And he only gets three cards to choose what from. Is... Just not likely. So do that. I don't have Argus or anything in this deck, so the way that I position actually is completely irrelevant. Before it used to matter a lot with uh, with Argus. Certain scenarios, but um, right now it's not relevant at all. So we would want uh, the Galvanizer back in our hands, so we attack face first. Bear drop. We'd want to play Cogmaster Hero Power, I think. Um, yeah, it's fine. I can fix anything. This will be good. We're gonna trade off the token here, actually, too. Because uh, we're not playing our explosive trap, right? We've already kind of determined that uh, Secret Plan Trap was Bear Trap, and if he had explosive, he likely would have played it. So, not gonna do anything about that and kind of just gonna go in. Hey, Diabetes, how you doing, man? Hey, no worries, Diarch. Uh, God, you'll use three, man. It's gonna be a bow and stuff. Ooh, that's pretty spicy. Let's go Galvanizer, Annoyatron, and then uh, Buffety Buff. Two mana plus five five is pretty good. The way you can think about that is just like a two mana war gear spread out across all your minions. It's just insane. These these Power of the Wilds and the Mark of the Lotus are like almost the entire reason to play the deck. Like you can really just look at it as three cards that are really good in the deck. It's it's Mark of the Lotus, Savage Roar, and um, Power, did I say Power of the Wild already? English is hard. So we're gonna go face. Uh, I guess we do with Galvanizer again. Maybe not, because it's yeah. I don't think it's really relevant anymore. Just go face with the two two in case it's uh, wandering. Yep, wandering monster, Hunchclaw, Egg. Could be sneak. No, it's not sneak. Could be explosive, still, right? No, it can't. No, I think the explosive would trigger, right? I believe the way it works is that it does trigger. I'm not 100% sure though. I'm so rusty at this game, man. It's actually hilarious. Uh, and I actually don't think it's relevant to play Lig Manor or not because Lethal's already set up on board. He has to react and then I just want to have a way to refill the board instead of just playing whatever my four man my four minions for five mana is. Because the card just gets more, uh, more value. So Rexar is fine and now Rexar is a lot better. I mean, you know, that's probably like cat trick, right? So we play this, it's most likely gonna trigger the cat, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, he shouldn't have another AoE card, so unless he gets something crazy for four mana off of his zombies. I uh, should uh, be able to get there this game. The three mana two one that summons two one ones in this deck. I think it's a little bit awkward for three mana as a thing. Because like, in order to combo it with anything good, you have to have four to five mana, which makes it kind of weird. I like having a lot of ones, a few twos, and then uh, some light game cards. Like the enhanced mechanic's probably the most cuttable card from the deck, but I still think it's pretty good. Just because you can get it for like you know sometimes two, one or two, sorry, two or three mana, uh, when using cards like uh, Galvanizer and uh, Mac Corp with it. Good stuff, good game, dude. I can't believe we won three in a row this deck. Holy shit! Hey Blastoise, yeah man. As you said it again. Lunara versus Valera. Andrew. What? Hello, Andrew. Control here. The forest uh, honestly, the sound looks pretty good so far. 
This card actually doesn't synergize with the hand at all, it's kind of funny. Um, it's so good because the future draws will make it better, but I just like to keep like a handful of ones. I think it's nice, especially against Rogue because they're usually odd. And this is just a really strong start against Odd Rogue because their dagger is really bad into 1-1 one -one tokens. I mean, two, two Paladin hero powers for one mana is really strong. So they go Roots, Coin, Roots, he clears all of it. Except for one, and then he gets to clear the second one with his dagger swing. Then I have to go Finley and make that work. He go Finley, coin roots, he daggers the one one. It's like the same outcome. I'd rather just clear both right now with this. This is like the turn three win opening with this deck. You go double roots on one, and then you go double Mark of the Lotus on two, and then you go Savage Roar on three. Turn three lethal. Shmoney. Uh, Firefly is insanely good for him here. That sucks. Not trading... I should trade patches off at least. The two in face makes sense. So now he gets punished by this pretty heavily. Unlucky. We just got a face to the last one. Probably should have too. I don't really know in what case it's... I mean Captain, but Captain doesn't matter because... Don't worry, loves. The so this dies. So he's not daggering, which is good. Get a hero power of Finley here. Yeah, it's still hero power of Finley. It's quite up. I'm healthy right now. Especially with this hand, like, I'll be fine. I play two more cards next turn that I can tap and maybe reward. We'll see. This turn's gonna be awkward for him unless he has exactly a one drop plus SI. If he has that, he should be fine, but otherwise, I think he's gonna be doing dead spot. Okay, it's not SI, so we're chilling. Trust the pirate's code if you know what I'm saying. Um, It's actually not that great for us. We probably wanna ignore that. Maybe just do this and then. I don't know if I wanna trade it all, to be honest. I think that's probably just right. Um, I don't think Fungomancer is really an issue because the way he wins is, it, it, it's not by like, oh Skulker, fuck! Oh, dude, I just fucked up really badly. Holy shit. Um, oh, he doesn't have Skulker. Oh, okay. I mean, that's fine then. Whew, freaking out for no reason. Wow. Um. Well, that was scary for a minute. Dude, I don't, like, I, I don't know. He has to be playing four Skulker off the top then. Otherwise, that makes no sense. Because, like, he Lothab so I can't win the game with Roar or anything like that, right? What lurks in wait, wait, why wouldn't he just play that last turn, though? I guess because Lothab just shuts the board down anyways. Sure. I can get that. 5 plus 8 is 13. What if... I don't think I just YOLO this, it doesn't make any sense. I also don't think I just play minions. I could just repair a bot and Savage Roar. Thing is, they don't beat like whatever he plays next turn on board is the problem here. Unless they get like flipping mana, it's not very likely. I wish I had one more mana, it'd make this turn a lot easier. Now how about... I think I just went on board this game. Putting him in two just seems like a bad idea because I have to draw Savage Roar because I've already used both roots, which is awkward. This is a That's okay. I kill it at least. Okay, so he clears this. It's really good for him. Okay. Just based on that, that's probably an L to be honest. Kind of unlucky, but it happens. It's also a pretty bad draw. The C just goes face this turn, I think. And then he has a full hand, I have to clear his board. Which I can do, but it's kind of awkward. I just have to not die in two turns, because living mana plus power should always win the game, but the thing is like... I need him to not develop a lot here, but the thing is he should develop a lot with 3 cards and 8 mana. He could play a 5 drop or something. So Fungal Master just shuts me out of the game. A lot of stuff kind of does. 
Leroy. Figure out the card gets plus one one. Kind of a cool way to win. Do I follow back on Instagram? Fuck no, I'm not gonna follow a random person who just watches my stream on the internet. I don't care about your life. <laughs> Gotta rope the Leroy man, I know. It's a pretty big deal the first time you play against a streamer on stream and you beat him at rank four in wild. Gotta gotta get that uh that internet club. Hey mom, look, I roped Leroy against control when I randomly got Adelie Grizzly to win the game. Haha. 